This is the second city this week with anchor George Kaliotis. Special guest, Harvey's Gina. And introducing Patricia Valetto as the nurse. never get past the House, Republicans this week passed a bill to repeal the health care reform law. Said one Republican, we know it will never get past the Senate, but we don't want to alienate one of our most important voting blocks, the delusional. <laughs> American and Chinese leaders agreed to disagree this week, as President Obama called America's trillion dollar debt to China unfortunate but necessary, while Chinese President Hu Jintao described it as happy sunshine feeling. <laughs> Over a six-year period, the military spent $193 million to remove homosexuals from the service. That's roughly $53,000 per person. Each soldier was sent home in a hot pink Jeep, chauffeured by Dolly Parton, <laughs> leaving $20,000 for glitter. <laughs> we now take you to a television screen. Coming this fall to a Punjabi television network. What happens when an Indian software company moves its call center to America to take advantage of its rapidly declining labor costs? Find out on Outsourced USA! Okay, listen up, you jackwads. This here's your new boss, Mr. Uh, Ravi Hunathon. <laughs> Hunathon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They are loud, they are obnoxious, and they are poorly educated, and you will be greatly amused at their contrasting cultures. <laughs> you know, well, well, you see, here in America, Poon is, uh, well, it's, it's a uh, lady's part. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, ladies' parts, we can't have that. You may call me Ruffy, and uh, thank you for the warm welcome. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I'm Bubba. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry about that whole thing in, uh, in the beginning. I, uh... I'm actually a big fan of India. Oh, you've been to India then? No, I just love the cuisine. You know, it burns twice. Ow! Ooh! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, I don't, actually. Hey, Sugar, why don't we go have drinks after work and maybe get to know each other a little bit? <laughs> uh, thank you. But I am engaged to be married. Oh, well, that don't mean anything. I am married. <laughs> what you think you're doing, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for promiscuity and criminal behavior. Oh, you will most definitely find laughter. Okay, that is enough. Uh, hi, I'm Ashley. In this week's episode, I played a pretty girl with no confidence. Welcome. Welcome. It's really nice to meet you, Ashley. Well, uh, let me get started by telling you about some of the products we will be selling. We'll start off with a Linux-based data program that you can use on any Unix interface. Can I play that CD in my truck? <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> but we do have a Java-based software that you can run on any GUI interface. GUI? <laughs> I need a beer and sex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You can do it. <laughs> Hello, Bangladore Software. My name is Sundeep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How may I help you? Yes, yes, it will run on any Unix platform. What? 100 licenses? Yes, of course, please hold. They want to buy 100 licenses? <laughs> you did it, Ashley! <laughs> <laughs> You could lose half your brain, still be perfectly normal. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I heard it somewhere. You know, it never happened in a state where they allow people to carry guns. You're probably right. I know I'm right. It just makes sense. He's schizophrenic. That's why he did it. Who told you he was schizophrenic? Well, schizophrenia starts in your early 20s. He's 23. Oh, Stop, all of you. Okay, what? Lose half your brain and be totally normal? Are, are you a, a, a neurosurgeon? Uh, it happened to this guy. Oh, this guy. Yeah, sure, okay, and, and this would have never happened if, uh, if everybody could carry guns. Huh? Uh. Look, Arizona.
Arizona passed a law last year that lets anyone carry a concealed weapon with, without even a permit. So? And schizophrenic, because of his age? What, are you, are you a psychologist? Have you studied his medical history? I saw it on an episode of Law and Order. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> sure, sure, and the Gulf oil spill was no big deal because the ocean is really big. Yeah, I heard that. That makes sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Uninformed opinions are not facts. We have to stop believing whatever we, we read and hear on whatever station or, or website we look at because, because it reinforces what we already believe, okay? My God, read a newspaper, or take a class, do some research, deal in reality, please. That guy's on drugs, I had a friend like that. <laughs> that made no sense. Yeah. Obviously a rageaholic. I saw it on CSI Miami. Oh, that's good. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Apple CEO Steve Jobs is taking a medical leave of absence. At Apple, this is known as ISIC. <laughs> <laughs> Internet social media company MySpace laid off 500 of its workers this week. The announcement was made on the company's Facebook page. <laughs> Russia will start selling trips to the International Space Station again in 2013, with a 10-day voyage going for $35 million. With a two-year advance purchase, Russia will waive the $25 checked bag fee. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the coffee shop, Sir, you forgot your paint tree. A bagel with a lightly toasted. What kind would you? <clears throat> Sorry, what kind <clears throat> would you want? Yeah, you know, I have never had a bagel. I'm going to give you a cup of coffee. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're John Boehner. You're in the house, so it's on the house. <laughs> I want to thank you for what you've done for little people like me. Uh, you all right there, Mr. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm sure it's just the flu or pneumonia. <laughs> I don't have health care, so I just got to let it ride the course. <laughs> but I got a job. <laughs> Cream cheese? You know, at this point, uh, but, <clears throat> what I want to tell you is I want to thank you because without people like you, People like me would be out of a job, and we would be stuck with that, that god-awful Obamacare. Oh, here you go. Kim, you wanted to press. <laughs> well, I gotta go, because I got a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, John Vino, I am such a big fan. You have done so much for the American people. <laughs> hey, uh, pleasure to meet you. Oh. Settle for a stuff shake? <laughs> <laughs> How about some coffee with that bagel? Uh, no, I don't know about this. <laughs> well, you're, on the you're in the house, so it's on the house. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so they're, uh, they're both gone, huh? Oh, yeah. I have diabetes, and since this place doesn't offer insurance, it went uh, <laughs> untreated, so I had to get both my hands back to God. <laughs> <laughs> Actual whip. Oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. 
As your first fish elect, I want you to destroy that uh, portrait of Nancy uh, Pelosi. Quick <laughs> 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 Mr. Duffy! Yes! I want to welcome you as a member of the freshman class of 2011. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, what's with the shirt, Sean? Well, I am a Wisconsin State and the National Lumberjack Champion. That's great. Get a tie! Yes, sir. All right. Now, <laughs> uh, the uh, bill to repeal the Job Killing Health Care Act just rolled through the house. Oh, uh, sir, uh, many of the freshmen were disappointed that you didn't take our suggestion of repeal the God Killing, Job Killing, Grandma Killing, Socialist Death Panel Law that sucks bill. Yeah, well, we ran that by a uh, marketing shot. It uh, just wouldn't fly. Uh, how are we doing on votes for those uh, other repeal ideas? Uh, it doesn't look too good, sir. Uh, what about the bill to repeal Obama's inauguration? Uh, the focus group says it looks too much like a coup d'etat. So. Yeah, uh, the bill to repeal Hawaii statehood so he's not a citizen. Uh, <laughs> having only 49 stars on the flag is quite a design problem. Uh, uh, the bill to uh, uh, rescind uh, Hillary Clinton's womanhood. He's doing really well. <laughs> uh, sir, uh, I thought I told him to get a tie. Yes, sir. Um, I just I didn't know if you got my email. Uh, the freshmen have drafted a bill called Obama is an un-American Muslim poopy face who probably eats babies. <laughs> Sean, Sean, your heart's in the right place, my son. <laughs> but uh, I just don't think it's the right tie with that uh, thing in Arizona. But cheer up, cheer up. Uh, we're introducing a bill that's a. Uh, Says that our colleague, uh, Miss Christy Nome of South Dakota, can only wear skirts that uh, come to her knee and above. I call it the damn she's fine act. Why? Well, I, I don't know about that one, sir. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd feel that way. So, uh, here to uh, maybe convince you otherwise is the Honorable Christy Nome. Come on out here, Christy, show up your public parties and put it on the party! Jamie, Speaker Boehner will be here at any moment. Now, you realize when he was sworn in the Speaker, he cried. And when he was interviewed about the crying, he cried more. No, that's the only reason to watch an interview with Speaker Boehner now is to see if he's going to cry. Just to see a grown man awkwardly <laughs> crying, <laughs> tears spewing out of his gaping mangina. Right? So, I got it. I got it. His big emotional triggers are children and the American dream. Right. But the word on the street is that, you know, he's built up his emotional resistance. Now, the Second City Network still wants to see full-on bawling within the first 30 seconds. Right? We're not the only game in town, right? I mean, Wolf Blitzer had him in a fetal position inside of a minute, so we got to somehow stop. Don't worry. I've been making men cry since you were in short pants. Mm. Speaker Boehner. George. Oh. Mr. Speaker, I'm Jamie Ross. Ms. Ross, pleasure. It's amazing, isn't it, how far you've come, what with children and the American dream and all that. It is. It is. Get <laughs> crazy. I've never been happy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and we are on in three, two, and. Tonight we have a very special emotional interview with Speaker of the House John Boehner. Welcome, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Department. Yeah. Now, first off, keeping in mind children and the American dream and all that, what do you think about what someone did to these poor kittens? <laughs> Terrible! <laughs> Clearly, no one ever loved these poor, innocent little kitty cats! Poor kittens have never hurt anyone! <laughs> <laughs> you know they're all dead, right? All three Stooges are dead. Even Shemp. That's right, isn't that sad? No Stooges left for the poor, innocent little children. What happened? 